Try looking into that place where you dare not look. You will find me there staring back at you. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time. This is a tag video. So I was tagged in a video and when I was tagged in it, I thought, oh, this could be loads of repeats. So I do apologize if you've already seen this in my year review video, but you may not have seen the video and I may just say different things, uh, but there's definitely going to be some repeats and I don't want to repeat myself and I don't want to repeat myself and I don't want to repeat myself. So anyway, thanks to Al from Big Hard Books and Classics for tagging me. This is a tag that was created by, where is it? Uh, Bookmark Chronicles, which is a channel I don't know. So I'm going to look into that channel, Bookmark Chronicles. That's what tags are all about, finding new channels. So um, Bookmark Chronicles, I'm going to look them up. But they created the tag. It's the um, end of, I didn't even look up what it was called. The end of year book tag, possibly. End of year book tag, something like that. It will be in the, the bit right at the beginning. <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> there's uh, seven questions and then a request to tag people and I'm tagging loads loads and loads so Al tagged a lot of people and he tagged some people I would have tagged but I thought why not I'll tag loads of people um, and uh, and I've tried to tag people I mean there are a lot so I'd normally tag but there's a lot there that I don't normally tag so I thought it'd be nice to tag those people as well um, so first question the best book or series you've read in 2023 so I have done my top 10 books of 2023 about a week ago. But I'll just highlight five. Five. And then a little mention of another book that was um, a great reread. So um, I've really loved my Ray Bradbury deep dive that I started this year. So I'm on my fourth book for that. But this was the first book. This was the first book in the Ray Bradbury deep dive. And uh, it's, they're rare stories. They're the crime stories that nobody ever talks about. Uh, so that was a really nice find and a nice... Uh, read is a really good book, uh, but also it's just nice the fact that because I was doing a deep dive, I looked into well, what's the earliest thing I can read, and I wouldn't have necessarily uh, found that otherwise. So I bought this for the readathon thing that I was doing, so that's really cool. So Ray Bradbury's Memory of Murder. Um, this uh, has been uh, applauded throughout BookTube, but it's such a good book. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, I really enjoyed it, raced through it really quickly. Uh, it's just amazing. So, so yeah, that was an absolute highlight for me. Definitely recommend it to anybody, actually. So, um, I'm not really sure if there's a specific audience for it. I just think it's a really good book that lo lots of people would enjoy. It's well written. It's got a compelling story. Really compelling relationship at the centre of it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, really good. Tom tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. I also read my first Grady Hendrix book. So, The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. I noticed Willow... Uh, saying something about uh, Willow from the Books and Bow channel, saying something about the, the step back thing. And it is a bit silly. It's a bit annoying. It's not like infuriating, but it's a little bit like. So, yeah, this has got one of those step back covers. Very strange. Not sure what the point is. But yeah, anyway, Grady Hendrix. I read my first Grady Hendrix book and it was really good. Uh, Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. Um, really, really enjoyed it. A lot of fun. Um, and then. Uh, I also, this was one of the first books I read for last year's is Thorathon, and that was uh, Battling the Gods, Atheism in the Ancient World. It is absolutely brilliant. Definitely one of my highlights of the year. Really, really good. And it's really good the way it doesn't just talk about um, heresy or non-belief or disbelief. It also talks about how um, the, the religion and the myths and the belief system of the ancient world, um, specifically the Greeks, did kind of give an open door for discussion, debate, doubt, all that kind of stuff. So I thought that was a really interesting aspect of the book. And then uh, last one to mention as far as new books I read, uh, I read the um, biography of Charles Adams, which is brilliant because you probably know, I've mentioned him a lot lately uh, and uh, he is my favourite cartoonist and I collect cartoonist books and um, it was a fascinating read, really interesting. He really led, led a very glamorous life considering he's just a cartoonist. But there we are. Um, amazing. Uh, you'll see, I don't know if you'll see this before or after uh, my Christmas presents video, but I had a lot of Charles Adams related stuff as well. So um, anyway, bit of a theme for this year. But that book was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And there's the Adams family there in their original form. And then just a little mention here of We, because um, it was really nice to 
be involved in the end of the year book club, which is like a Voxer group where we read lots of books and we've read 984 again and we read We again and soon I'll be reading Children of Men for the first time. So I love the film, but I haven't read Children of Men, so that's the next one we're reading. So that'd be awesome. So We was really good to reread and it was really good to have a discussion about it on YouTube. Um, okay, second question. Authors that you discovered that you'd like to read more. Okay, so... Um, Chester Himes was one of them. So this is a book I got for Christmas that I'll be reading next year. I read Cotton Comes to Harlem, which is brilliant. So Chester Himes is one. And... Probably another main one is S.A. Cosby. So this is one I haven't read, but I read Razorblade Tears, which I went on about all year. And I need to read this one next. So S.A. Cosby, uh, two crime writers. So I haven't, um, I'm, I probably have read some new science fiction authors, but I can't think what, who they've been. Um, not sure. Oh, well, I did start this guy, but I haven't read, I haven't finished this yet. My reading's been so bad this month. And he's a science fiction writer and he looks really good. So uh, that's uh, Nana Kamwe, uh, Ajay Buenya, uh, and uh, definitely worth looking into his stuff. Uh, he's now famous for writing the Chain Gang All-Stars, which is up there somewhere. Uh, there? Um, but uh, I haven't read that yet because I'm reading this first. So I read that as well. Okay. Uh, next one is uh, best book turned movie or most anticipated adaptation. Um, I didn't re watch a lot of movies this year, which is really bad. I need to read, watch more movies, but I did. I am looking forward to the second part of uh, Denise Villeneuve's Dune, so that will be coming out this year. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, not sure what else is coming out really. Um, there is an adaptation series coming out. I can't remember what it was. I quite enjoyed... I don't think it was... I, I think it was flawed. I don't think it was amazing, but I did enjoy the fact there was a a new version of the Windowitch, Windowitch Cuckoos that came out this year. Uh, I just loved the story so much. Um, so, so yeah, I think I think they changed the ending, which was a shame. Uh, but, uh, but the spirit of the ending was there. Uh, and uh, it was just nice to see the story happen again. So, not... Perfect, but still good. Um, number four is, has your reading changed, or is it, have you read any new genres? I, uh, I have read more crime than I've ever read before, and I'm going to do more of that next year because i get really into that. Um, but I've still pretty much read my mainstay of genre stuff, um, speculative fiction, uh, fantasy, horror, um, that kind of stuff, uh, science fiction. I haven't read a lot of classics because I don't tend to do that much. Um, but again, I'll be nipping into that as we go along next year, a little bit. Um, <clears throat> number five, your favourite ship of the year. Oh, uh, I didn't even think about this one. I remember writing it down. Like a romantic friendship or a platonic friendship or like a romantic relationship, a friend, uh, platonic friendship or family relationship. Um... I tell you what, I'm going to go with the relationship depicted in here because um, I think it's it's so brilliantly realised and it's so complex and there's so many twists and turns in their relationship. So yeah, I'm going to go with that. So Sam and Sadie, uh, Sam and Sadie in this, this, this book, absolutely brilliant. So yeah, that's, that's my... Favourite friendship in a book this year. Uh, number six, planned TBR. Have I planned my TBR, TBR for 2024? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm about to tell you that there's loads of things I'm doing as far as challenges, challenges and events. So it's kind of planning my TBR. I've planned 24 books for the band 24 books thing. But that could change. Uh, it's quite planned. Um, yeah, I mean, I've got tons to read behind me. Uh, I do definitely want to get to this, Dave. <laughs> it's there, it's there, it's right there, it's right there, it's right there, it's right there. It's literally, it's on my knee, it's on my knee waiting to go. Uh, it's not on my knee anymore. 
It's moving about the room. Whoa. Um, uh, so reading challenges. Okay, so reading challenges. It's quite a lot. So I'm still going to finish off my own event, Winter of Wyndham, reading John Wyndham. Um, as I said, I have done a video about 24 banned books I'm going to be reading in 20, 19, uh, 2024, 1924, I've already done that, uh, in 2024, reading 24 books that are banned, and talking about why they were banned, what I felt about the book, all that kind of stuff, I'll be doing that, and there will be 24 reviews, I'm going to review on the channel every one that I read, and that's the, an event created by MJ, so that'd be cool, the All About Holly uh, thing is a really good thing, where we read every book that's got um, the character Holly in there, but I haven't got that far into my Mr. Mercedes, the first one, but my reading slowed down like crazy this month. So I'll be reading that, reading all of the Holly books. Uh, horror Mayhem, looking forward to Horror Mayhem, I'm co-host for that. So in May, we'll be reading some horror stories uh, based around the prompts that we come up with. Uh, June on the Range, I'll be reading more cowboy western stuff in June for Michael K. Vaughan's June on the Range. Garb August, did I get something out for Garb August? Oh yes, I'm definitely going to read this one for Garb August at least. Steve Harris's Adventureland. I wanted to read that last year, didn't get to it. It's quite a biggie, but I want to read that. Um, a horror set in a fun fair. Why not? Can't beat that. And New World's November is definitely happening. Can't wait for that as well. That'd be really cool. And through the year, um, the Historathon's happening again. So that was a big part of last year for me. So that's, that's another year of that Historathon. We'll be going through history, reading history books. And I'm going to give this another go. So I, I tentatively nipped into this, but it's a very major piece of work about ancient Rome. So I'll be starting the year with that. And then I'll be getting into stuff that I'm more familiar with as we go along. So this is um, a Christopher Hill book, Society and Puritanism in Pre-Revolutionary England. Um, I'll do a video soon about some more of the history books you might be tempted by. Um, and I've got the End of the World Book Club, as I said, the Children of Men's next for that. So that's a really interesting list of books that we're going to plough through and sort of vote for or, or randomly pick, that kind of thing. Um, so that's all happening next year. Um, I have done a... I'm not, I might have mess, m missed something out, in which case there is this preview for next year, plans for next year video, where I could talk, it in more, talk about it in more detail. So those are the challenges. So I'm going to read off all the people I'm going to tag. So this is purely just to spread the the vibe and see what other people think uh, about their challenges and to say hello to them basically and it's like a it's like an online hello so here we go let's go through these so uh, uh, bookends and biscuits bookends and biscuits uh, so definitely want to uh, see if Robin wants to do it um, Alice and the Giant Bookshelf uh, may want to do this uh, Alex Unabridged past story time uh, book Buds, the guys are Book Buds. Another BookTube channel. So if he wants to do it, it'll be cool if he does. Man with a hat who reads. So if Matt, if you want to do it, uh, Bookubus. Um, I don't I haven't often tagged Bookubus. I think so. That'd be really cool if Bookubus wants to do it. Shit, that'd be great. See what she thinks. Vin from Revenant Reads. That'd be cool. Uh, Chris from Unlimited Reads. Uh, so uh, Chris, Unlimited Reads. That'd be really cool if he wants to do it. Um, I uh, <laughs> I mixed up his name yesterday, but I was very, very tired. I feel guilty about that. But yeah, Chris, if you want to do, do it, that'd be really cool. Check out Chris's video. His, his video, his channel, it's really good. God. Um, Dave and Olive from Book Blather. Um, we're going to be joining up together next year a lot. So uh, see what Dave and Olive think. Uh, Katie from Books and Things. Um, so if Katie from Books and Things wants to do it, that'd be cool. Chatty the Mad Chatter. Chatty, if you want to do this challenge, then I'd love to hear what your plans are for next year and your review for last year. Uh, Bookish Chaz. Bookish Chaz has um, been recently communicating quite a lot, which is lovely. So Chaz, nice to get to know you a little bit more. And um, and if you want to do the challenge, that'd be awesome. Abby Salter. So Abby Salter was one of the people from the London trip that um, uh, we went to Forbidden Planet as well. It's very cool. Uh, Abby, if you want to do that, that'd be cool. Uh, Gem of Books as well. I've just picked some of the people from the London trip. Gem of Books. I'm assuming that they're going to check the other people that I haven't mentioned from the London trip if they do it. So Gem of Books. If you want to do it, Gem, that'd be cool. 
David Wiley. So uh, David Wiley loves getting tagged, and he tags me sometimes, and he's a lovely man. So David Wiley, if you want to do it, that'd be cool. Uh, and Novel Novels, if you want to do it, Emily, then that'd be awesome. Um, and um, Charlie Brook Reads. Charlie Brook Reads. I really hope I've got the name right, because I didn't write it down. Charlie Brook Reads. If you want to do it, then that'd be cool as well. So there's quite a lot of people there. Uh, and let's see the tag go around. Uh, this is the second and probably last time I'm sporting my new Star Wars um, Christmas jumper. It's very comfy and nice and lovely. So it's all good. But in the meantime, oh yeah, I was going to mention um, that a couple of other things I was going to be doing. Like I'm definitely, I really intend to read The Grapes of Wrath in 2024. So I am going to try and get to that. That'd be awesome. And if I read it in the summer, it might link to MJ's um, Summer of Steinbeck, maybe. And I am going to talk about this guy as well next year, so um, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> because uh, it's a very controversial figure. Uh, so there we go. Oh, and I am going to talk about Python. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a, I've already said this bit in the last video, but I didn't know I was going to do another one. Happy New Year. Have a fantastic 2024. And thanks for watching. Stay curious. And see you later. Thanks. Bye. Yeah.